dear students moving on to the pest this becomes the general account of pest part 2 since the beginning of the civilization man has concentrated on agriculture we need food so we have to concentrate on agriculture about 1000 plant species are of economic importance the word pest has been derived from latin pests that is plague because large number causing a damage insect sand disease causing organisms including some vertebrates fall in this category so it is not always the uh, the insects but there could be other organism uh, organisms also and insects and disease causing organisms therefore including some vertebrates also could be termed as pests a pest is an organism whose number crosses the threshold value so as to conflict with man's welfare and economy now the word threshold value i would just be discussing in my uh, further uh, the organisms may be an insect they could be arachnids these could be nematodes fungi bacteria viroids viruses mycoplasma weeds angiospermic parasites rodents or birds any of these organisms uh, could act as a, a pest uh, damaging the Uh, any any in any sort causing damage to the human beings uh, of course derived from the french word peste and latin uh, term pestis meaning plague or contagious diseases means the spreading very fast pest is any animal which is noxious destructive or troublesome to man or his interest now this is very important because we define it in our terms to man or his interests a pest is any organism which occurs in large numbers and conflict with man's welfare convenience and profit now anything concerned with profit that is economy therefore this paper or the second paper is also referred to as economic entomology because it deals with the profit man's welfare in concern with economy a pest is an organism which harms man or his property significantly or is likely to, to do so that is according to woods 1976 similarly debaxley 1964 says insects are pest when they are sufficiently numerous to cause economic damage pests are organisms which impose burdens on human population by causing injury to crop plants forests and ornamentals annoyance injury and death to humans and domesticated animals destruction or value depreciation of stored products so insects they definitely they can cause harm to the crop in the field in the forests all plants if they are destroyed definitely the wealth is being lost and similar to the ornamental plants which are used for various purposes if injury is caused to those ornamental plants then to indirectly the human economy is disrupted similarly it could cause cause injury and death to humans and its domesticated animals we all know because animal husbandry practices also are related with the economy of the human beings and thus if the domesticated animals are injured or Uh, they start suffering from some diseases and then finally the death of the organism that means indirectly it is causing an economic loss similarly destruction or value depreciation of stored products because stored commodities also suffer from the attack of insect pests pests include insects nematodes mites snails slugs etc and vertebrates like uh, rats and birds as i have already told you it is not necessary that only the insects cause damage it could be caused by any of these organisms but definitely we would be dealing with the insect pests depending upon the importance pests may be agricultural forest household medical aesthetic and veterinary now these terms are very important when we talk about the insect pest parameters of insect population levels general equilibrium position which is termed as gep the average density of a population over a long period of time around which 
the pest population uh, tends to fluctuate due to biotic and abiotic factors and in the absence of permanent environmental changes. I mean, what happens is an insect would reproduce, would reproduce and then a population would be established, a number would be established and the, that number remains in the population with a very slight fluctuation which could be due to the biotic and abiotic factors. Biotic which comprises of the living organisms, maybe the plants and other animals and abiotic of course the physical factors. So these tend to fluctuate the population otherwise that is what the, the number of individuals are there in the population that is termed as a general equilibrium position. Here yeah, this population has got uh, no issues that is a general equilibrium position but economic threshold level now this is important ETL population density at which control measures should be implemented to prevent an increasing pest population from reaching the ETL now the population of insect goes on increasing a stage is reached which is actually the threshold level. As the population crosses this threshold level, it becomes a pest. So it is very essential that this actually, this is the economic threshold level where a control measure should be opted, should be implemented so that the insect stays at, it, uh, stays at its general equilibrium position and does not attain the pest position. If we employ any control measure, definitely we will be able to manage or reduce the pest population. And if we are able to do so, then again the insect comes in a state of equilibrium position. Economic injury level. The lowest population density that will cause economic damage. That is termed as the economic injury level. I mean that means just and suppose the number is 100 that I'm just giving you an example uh, 100 is the equilibrium, equilibrium position as this it crosses 100 and it becomes 150 so when it's supposed to go from 100 to 150 this is actually the economic threshold level. So the population density that means as it crosses 100 and it becomes 102 maybe then that is a level which causes the uh, damage which causes the which has crossed the economic threshold level. So that is the lowest population density where the economic damage starts uh, it starts and then this is termed as the economic injury level. Damage boundary or uh, the DB. This is the lowest level of damage which can be measured. ETL is always less than EIL. So economic threshold level is always than, less than the economic injury level. It provides sufficient time for control measures. So it is actually that state uh, when the control measures have to be opted for. So moving on to the categories of pests. Based on occurrence, we have categorized them as number one, regular pest. They frequently occur on crop. They have close association with the crop. So they are regular. They always remain on as a pest uh, on the crop. Like the rice stem borer, the brinjal fruit borer. Occasional, as the word indicates, infrequent, sometimes infrequently they occur and they don't have a very close association uh, with the plant sex for example the case worm on rice the mango stem borer seasonal pest definitely they occur during different seasons in that means in a particular season every year like red hairy caterpillar on groundnut mango hoppers so on persistent pest now occur on the crop throughout the year and it's difficult to control yeah, because they're persistent they always remain on the crop and because they are always present definitely they are going to cause a lot of damage. Sporadic pests which occur in isolated localities during some period. For example the coconut slug caterpillar 
sometimes uh, it 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 is a sporadic in some period uh, it may occur in some particular area so they are not uh, regular occasional seasonal persistent but at some time they may be seen based on level of infestation so as based on occurrence we had the different kinds of division or categories when based on level of infestation these are epidemic pest epidemics sudden outbreak of a pest in a severe form in a region at a particular time or endemic occurrence of the pest in a low level in few pockets regularly and confined to particular area for example the rice gall midge uh, an example it's very common in madurai and mango hoppers in periaculum uh, thank you so uh, this was a second uh, details on pest but moving on further i would be discussing in the next uh, to uh, talk